Yo, yo, yo. Why did other stream go away? The other Elden stream Hoff went away because it wasn't box. working. Grand Theft Auto would not load, would not allow me to play or join the online community in that game. So, that's that. Rockstar don't want me playing Grand Theft Auto, I'll play something else. Their servers wouldn't load me in, man. I tried like what, 20 times? So the other stream has got punted. You are playing cowboy game. I am now. I'm looking at the, they've never I done a- Cowboy game too. I don't think they did a, like a, um, a winter or Christmas update last year with this. I don't recall there being snow or anything last year. So this is the first time. I think they've done this, and I've just taken a look at it. And I'm just putting in a video description of all the new stuff that's just changed. I'm starting to run out of space to type. I've put in a lot here. All right. Okay. That is a lot to type out. There you go, guys. The video description includes all the details and information about the there is lots of dangerous animals in the wild winter so update. Watch out. Oh, it looks pretty cool in the snow. See if we can clean a few things up here. Go to my channel. That's too bad, because like I was gonna try to get into a cougar attack you and it was scary. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to get into the Grand Theft Auto game and it just kicks you out and won't let you play. Just kinda crappy. Look disappointing there. But, I guess so much for Grand Theft Auto. We'll see how Red Dead's doing. Alright. So, we've got some new stuff. It keeps telling me I have benefits, but... This is not doing any better than the other one. I have never saw a new car game Grand Theft Auto. Only 300 bucks. Unless I got a free repeater. Get a repeater for free. Claim this reward in the gunsmith. Or the catalog. I got select coats, select repeaters. Okay. But it's not really loading that well either. It's only giving me half of the info. $100 is a lot of money. I like the snow. Yeah, I like it too. It looks good. I was saying first time. I mean, they've had snow on the map, but it's the first time I'm seeing them do it as a Christmas special. But it is so, very cold. Yeah, believe it or not, you get used to it after a while. It's not really that cold. All right, um, it looks like we've got some Christmas presents here to collect as well. All 
Alright, I'll take one of these. There's my red dead Christmas tree. You say you are not welcome here. Go back to your home country. What the fuck is wrong with you, buddy? What a fucking loser. But my home country is dangerous, so no. Yeah, don't worry about it. He's got nothing left to say. Well, um, okay, I didn't really get anything here for Christmas. Well, I think it gave me some ammo. <laughs> Let's see what the daily challenges are here. Something simple I could do at my camp. Canned food eaten. Hi, you, sir. Feathers sold. Flying birds you killed. Have a Christmas tree. I don't know. But I mean, they're they're everywhere around me, so it's all right. How's it going, crazy? Ignore the trolls; they never pull up in real life. Can food eaten? Well, that should be easy enough. Okay. They are just annoying me and not being a nice orson. Now, daily challenge complete. Sorry, I'm in person. This looks like it's doing all right. Crap's in the snow, man. <laughs> What's going on, boss? Are you liking the snow? My, I'm a puppy-loving pacifist, according to Skippy. I've had canned food before. Legendary bounty available. Yeah, there's a new legendary bounty today. Little doggy. I wonder if we get any Christmas music at the uh, at the Moonshine Shack. I remember a big dog trying to attack me. favorite Christmas song is Deck Hall. Okay.
Christmas tree. They're actually playing Christmas music. Oh my god. <laughs> they changed the music at the freaking moonshine shack to Christmas music. <laughs> Appleberry crumble sounds yummy. <laughs> this is I too good. Like Jingle Bell. <laughs> That's too good, man. I am so sorry, but I have to go. That's okay. I'll probably be here when you come back. Yeah, we'll catch you later, friend. You've been away on some travels, yes? Oops, wrong button. My bad. Almost shot my horse in the head, fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I switch between the games so often now that I keep forgetting all the buttons. <laughs> Just about shot my horse in the head. Oh, man. <laughs> That's too funny. Hey, Layton. Welcome back. Light. 
light. Thank you. Well, it is snowing. All right. So now Carmela is finally on the legendary board. But there's a new guy. Oh, who's the new guy? Let me take a look again. Is it like the Grizzlies? Uh, these are bounties. The new guy is called Shepherd Virgil. Shepherd Virgil. Okay, so this is the new legendary bounty. Well, let's see what we can do with this. Hello there. Hey, Code Arms. Haven't seen you in a while. Welcome back. <coughs> I'm doing okay. I tried to get into the Grand Theft Auto today, but it only let me play for like an hour and then it kicked me out and I couldn't find my save game file, so they wouldn't let me play it. The Shepherd, leader of a sect called the Seventh Generation. I think this is the Red Dead. Checking this out looks pretty good too. With a silver tongue who's been gathering lost souls from far and wide. Promising eternal salvation. He's gone to ground. Hasn't been seen in months. But folk been saying he's put out a call to arms for some kind of mass cleansing of sin. Groups of his followers are camped out in Roanoke Ridge, north of Annisburg, waiting for their shepherd to appear and show them the way. All right, Maybe one then. of them has some information that'll lead you to him, so he can face his own reckoning. Well, it's just the two of us. But this is a level one legendary bounty. It shouldn't be too hard. Let me make sure I've got my weapons in order. Weapons and snacks. Give my horse a little brush down. Did you take off? Am I doing this solo now? Did you, the other guy load in or not? I don't see him on the map. Hold on. He has started a legendary bounty and he quit. Alright then. No problem. Quitting is your thing. I do not see a legendary bounty here. I just see some town folk so far. Maybe that is the legendary bounty.
What type are they? I don't know yet. There's legendary bounty. I see there's a hostage over there. I got a bad guy over here if I can get a shot on him. I got the hostage in his arms. He's walking right to me with it. This is not good. Did I just kill the bounty? Trying to cut you free, lady. Shut up. Working on it. Calm down. Where did this guy go? All right, I think they're all dead. Interesting for me to loot. Lockbox. And what do we got? Some beans? Really? Peaches? That's it. What's up, bro? Hey, I am uh, doing the new legendary bounty here in Red Dead. In the snow, I might add. Loving uh, the snow. Yeah, we're playing Red Dead in the snow right now. They've got their Christmas thing out. Festive surprise of some sort. I got a hundred bucks cold out though. or something. <laughs> too cold. Well, if you're used to it being hot, you know, I mean, it's just the weather you get, you get used to it. Whether it's too hot or whether it's too cold, you always just get used to it. You know? Anything above 25 degrees Celsius is too hot for me. I don't like it. I'm sweating all day. Out of energy, can't breathe because it's so hot. That's true. You know, cold weather. I mean, yeah, you get to wear lots of clothes. That's kind of cool for people who like clothing. <laughs> I like clothes. <laughs> I like to wear lots of clothes, which is good. What do we got here? What the heck is this? Hmm. All right, so we've got this camp has been taken care of. No bounty found here. I like it too. Uh, this is the drop. That is a tough spot for a camp. That's probably where it is too, though. So we'll go and clear the lower camp first before we go up to the upper camp. I'm pretty sure the bounty's going to be up top, not down below, but we'll see. So this is only level one of the legendary bounty, so I don't expect it to be too difficult. Do they have private sessions? Uh, no, they don't. So. 
Treasure chest. Let me join you. That's because I'm in a legendary bounty at the moment. So, I'm not in the open lobby. I'm in a a mission of sorts. Oh, okay. What are they gonna frickin' put this guy off the mountain? All right, I freed you, man. I hope you make good on that. Run like a motherfucker. What? Are you a bad guy? I just saved your life. Mother of Pete. Okay, they're in the cave down below me. Anything up here worth looting? You know, they were going to shoot that guy. And I save his life, and then he tries to stab me. No. Uh oh, no, 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 no! Damn it, man. <laughs> Back! Oh, I gotta start all over again. Oh, no, I don't. But that cost me half the money, because I died. If you die in the mission, you lose half your money. Which is really crappy. Welcome back. There's a cave these guys are all hiding in. I see. Spooky cave. Oh, did I kill the bounty? I did. Oh, this is a cultist. So, maybe not the bounty? Loot the cultist. Okay. What do we got going on here? What the heck is that? Oh, snake oil. All right. Pick up. Search the area for Shepherd Virgil Edwards. Uh, that's just a cultist. So, I am assuming the last bad guy has got to be over there. No, oh, come on, I did not want to be on this guy's horse. 
Oh, come on, man. Damn, horse is kicking my ass. That's right. Drag him off. People are coming in my house and I don't know who they is. Uh, okay. Did you let them in? I hide in my wardrobe. Uh, okay. What? What's going on, Godzilla? Have you called the police? I like to move it, move it. You suck. Everyone is back. Police wasn't around long of calling. All you gotta do is just spam the power button, just keep hitting it, tap, 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 the power button on your phone, and the police will come, you don't even have to call them, just spam the power button, the on-off button, just spam it. If you're worried. They'll GPS track your cell phone and come straight to you. For real, let me see. I call police, they shoot my dog because he attacked them. Oh, well, you should have kept your dog under control. My mama and papa are fine. Shine down upon us. If you entrouter ya yeah, hell with home budding. Of the celestial world and in life we shall conquer the earth. I clothe myself in the power of mercy. She will protect me now as you lay down your lives to protect her. Kay. Can you hear her? 
Well, the home button doesn't work. It's the power button. On the seventh day and the seventh night, when all else is paused to rest, the goddess with her sheep of light found a hunt. Oh well, so much for frickin' stimulus checked up. Sneaking up on these guys. I'm not going to be on streams for a while because my brother is hurt. Bye bye. Okay. Must have lived in Detroit. Talking like that. Climb down the damn ladder, man! Fuck! <laughs> this frickin' game sometimes. You doing a new bounty? For fuck's sakes, man. It wouldn't let me tackle the guy for some reason. I couldn't. Oh, I'm getting pissed, actually. Yeah, it's a new bounty. Rockstar always breaks their games. Yeah, like in the last one, you couldn't use your target lock, and they don't tell you that, so you think the games are broken, but it's not. That's just the way it is. This one, now you can't... I couldn't lock onto the guy to, to lasso him or to dive tackle him to put him in a hog tie. So, you know, it's just stupid shit. Like, fucking... The first time I've done this bounty, so I don't know this.
mistaken. Are we surprised? No! Are we afraid? <laughs> no, sirree. To fear is to not be an awakened. We are the chosen children of the goddess, and she will shine down upon us. In death, we shall ascend to the highest rings of the celestial world. Would a compound bow be too overpowered for Red Dead Online? I don't know. Well. <laughs> Tell me I'm not using explosive rounds. All right. Come on, man, I can't even get out the damn door! Hog tie this guy! Hog tie him! Hog tie him! Oh, for fuck's sakes, man! You can't fucking hog tie this guy! Where's my bolus? Michael, let's be honest. Yusa deserves to be home invaded. I was legit dying of laughter. You can't say you weren't the same. Oh, you can't do shit with this, man. You can't hogtie the guy. What am I supposed to do? Kill him? I'm gonna fall off this fucking mountain now. And it won't give me a weapon. Give me a gun. For God's sakes, man. Oh, for fuck's sake. You gotta be shitting me. This is a load of crap. So what are you supposed to do? You can't hog tie him. You can't kill him. Fucking bounty my ass. Bro, that's messed up, Kojo. I wasted a ball is on him. Uh, Who are you? You can't be. Can you? You, you so should have died. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Laughing. Seriously. I'm at your mercy, devil of darkness. I saw your coming in the fires. Kill me, devil. <coughs> this is not the end. It Jesus, man, I have no idea. I took me four sticks of dynamite. 
and like basically all my ammo. And this is only the level one bounty. They're oh crap. Well, now he's got people right. coming to protect him. And my horse is not coming. Come on, horse. Let's go. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes, man. Are you fucking shitting me? Come on, horse. Pick me up and let's go. Right. Jump off the fucking mountain, too, while you're at it, horse. Come on. Stupid horse. Stupid horse. Fuck. What the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> Michael Wright is raging the hell out. <laughs> no shit, man. Hard anguished face. Well, it's the first time you do it. I didn't even know if I was gonna be able. To, like, I didn't know. I mean, I what? He wasted. He used five sticks of dynamite on the guy, and then nothing happened. He wasn't dead. It couldn't lock onto him either with the with the rope. Couldn't hog tie him. Help me! I don't know. It's first first run on it. I don't fuck now. At least I know I can get him. You just got to knock him down a lot. He's gonna take a lot of damage. But I didn't know that before. But, I mean, this was I, I've died, what, four it's times? I died like four times doing this bounty. I'd rather do my bounties on a MK to a Prisor, to be honest. Yeah. Am I banned? I would have been a mess on that bounty. Is it hard? Well, if you don't know, yeah, I mean, I didn't know if I was going to have to, I didn't even know if the dynamite was working. Right? I mean, I hit him with what, four dynamite arrows and one volatile dynamite, plus I hit him with all the ammo I had in my Mausers just to knock him down. Somebody quick! So... Jeez. And, you know, I didn't even know if any of that was doing anything. I just thought the game was broken. I thought, you know, okay, so they give me an invincible bounty that you can't lock onto and you can't hog tie. I, I thought, that, you know, there was a problem with the game. Literally. And then my horse, my horse is not helping. It's starting to climb up a mountain and shit. <coughs> Anyways. Michael Wright Yuso will come to your house with her family and steal your supplies and run away. Man, give it up, dude. I live in Canada. We have the world's largest supply of natural resources and the lowest amount of population per capita. Because she was invaded low. Who cares, man? Why are you even fucking talking to me about this shit?
because it is funny. Oh, I see. My county is glowing down on vegetables in up. I spent probably 30 bucks on freaking tonics and ammo easily. Damn, I don't know what the hell that bounty's gonna be like when it's level 5. You know? Kojo is a Redditor low. Jesus, that bounty's gonna be insane level 5. At least you know now, okay, so the guy's not invincible, he's just gonna take a shitload to put him down, man, that's all. Actually. That's a lot old, not like T9 engine. Justice has been served. That was a bitch of a bounty, dude. Like, I don't want to be doing that shit solo anymore, man. <laughs> I need some people in there to share some of the cost of the ammo. I mean, I got 123 bucks on it, but Jesus. You know, I died, what, four times? That bounty probably would have paid $250. Maybe 300 bucks if I never died. If you can do it without dying, it probably pays a shitload, because you get your money cut in half each time you die. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. What are you eating? I'm uh, just having a cup of coffee. And it's a little too hot. I overheated it. Oh, this isn't ready? One bottle left. Alright, it'll take like a minute. And then I can Hello do that. again, Michael. Sick. Hey, how's it going? Please Play don't spam the chat. Moment. Upside down face, smirking face, partying face, face, savoring food, smiling face, smiling face, partying yeah. face, smiling face with smiling eyes, face blowing a Please kiss upside down face, the smiling chat. face with smiling eyes. This is a nice change, isn't it? They play Christmas music in the, in the, check this shit out. They play Christmas music. <laughs> I remember doing that and not expecting your aids. Beat. Hey. <laughs> what's going on, Cartman? Hey, what's up? Need <laughs> asterisk. They didn't do this shit last year, man. Hi, waving hand was a nice time for you guys and a friend for a birthday and a nice thumbs up day for a good time with the kids and then you can get a little. Is there prostis in RDR2? Uh, not really, no. You can take a bath and a girl will give you a hand job, I guess. That's about it. It's nothing like cyberpunk. I don't know what happens if you're a girl character. Maybe some guy comes in and gives you a bath. I don't know. That's <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know. I've never been a girl character in this game, but maybe if you have a bath. I don't know. Maybe you can see her tits. I, I don't know. A little. I'll take anything at this point. <sighs> Cyberpunk is gonna be crazy when I get it on Christmas. <laughs> nice way to end a hard bounty. Hopefully they have Cyberpunk gets patched a bit more. It's still got issues. You know. But I've learned some really cool stuff in the last couple of days with Cyberpunk, man. Um I I've got like the, the Corpo suit now for body armor, which is pretty awesome. I learned how to keep Skippy forever, so you don't have to give the gun back to its original owner. 
and you can also get Pan Am and Judy to follow you around in the game if you don't finish the story missions. So if you if you want to run through the game one time, right, do, do all the story, get that done, and then you run it a second time, the second time around, you don't finish the story, and Pan Am and Judy will follow you around and be your, like, a companions in the game, which is pretty awesome. Because you got these two hot chicks, like, blazing... <laughs> just shooting everything, shooting everybody up with you, and they chat and they have comments and stuff, and it's 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 pretty cool. So, but in order for me to do that, I have to restart a new character. So I haven't uh, I haven't gotten that far yet. But I've got unlimited money, I've got like a million dollars in the game right now. Now I managed to buy everything that I've wanted so far, or that I could find. <coughs> There's a lot of stuff that you can buy still. Uh, Grand Theft Auto won't let me play it. It just can't seem to find my saved They're game file. It's off to patch the biggest glitches by Christmas. Yeah. Well, you know, I can't play Red. I can't play Grand Theft Auto. It won't. It doesn't find my saved game file. So I came over here. Next. Check this out. I think this is cool that they're playing uh, Christmas music at the Moonshine Shack. It's the first time they've actually changed the music in what, two years? Yeah, whatever. OMG. <laughs> Well, it's the first time they've ever changed the music at the Moonshine Shack, or they've ever had new music. I mean, it's Christmas music and all, but I'm pretty happy with it. Rolling on the floor laughing. Give them what they paid for. Is it only one song? Are you serious? They only had one song? Yeah, it's okay, so they got one song at the Moonshine. I thought they would have more than one, but apparently just one. Still cool though. You know. I'm glad that they did something. Last last year they didn't they didn't do anything. I can't imagine if you still dance like the drunk guy in this during the Christmas music. <laughs> I don't even want to look. Is there such a thing as a Christmas dance? It probably is. I can sing by the way. Wanna hear? No. No. Tough. <sighs> I'll do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Enough, enough, enough. Get me out of here. Good news. We have some new clients, I see. All right, yeah, you can join now. Anybody wanted to join? Last Christmas I gave I'm not in a bounty like anymore. The next day you gave it away this year. To save me from tears, I'll Crap. give it to someone special last. And they're always giving me they're the lowest low. this bullshit $144 cell missions, man. You have some work ahead of you. I hope you are feeling rested, huh? <sighs> I don't know what Rockstar is doing with this game, but they've like they've cut everybody's money down to nothing. Remember, we have spent 
Even when you you spend the money to add the flavor and to get this to sell for 226, it still only gives you the 144 cell missions. Frequencies and timings, and my PC blue screened and didn't boot, so I spent two hours fixing it. Lol. I find single player much more enjoyable, but I like to watch online. Yeah. I mean, once you're done with the story in single player, there really isn't that much to do that's entertaining to watch. There's just too much time wondering, you know, looking for shit. It's all more just kind of looking for shit. But I mean, the story mode, yeah. Once you do, if you're doing the whole story from the beginning to end. But I finished the story already. I don't know if I'll do it again. I might do it again on PS5. Yeah, so we got snow in Red Dead. That's kind of cool. I think the snow in here is better than Grand Theft Auto. It looks better. I mean, it's a bit foggy right now, but I mean, there's also snow in sunny days and stuff without the fog, where it looks pretty nice. But it just giving, it keeps giving me the shit cell missions, man. It's the fourth time in a row I've got the hundred and forty-four dollar cell mission. It's just not giving me, uh, it's not giving me the money anymore on the Moonshine Shack. And they've cut back your gold down to nothing. The daily challenges have all been set down. You can't extend the daily challenges over twenty-eight days. So, yeah, like Rockstar is, I don't know. They've taken all the money out of the game what they're doing. They're, they're trying to get people to buy more shark cards or whatever it is. Michael, did you like my singing? That's fine. I'm still working on trying to get the butcher table. 
Oh, you don't have enough gold for that? Oh, yeah, getting gold now is a bitch, man. It, like, it, if it wasn't hard enough before, it's even harder now. <coughs> Which is just crap. Anyone here a PC enthusiast? He'll do it again cause you love it. Now please save me the agony. Yeah, it is hard to get gold. Yeah, it was. Now it is. It's gonna take freaking forever. Like you just do all the daily challenges for a week. You just keep doing daily challenges, man. If you come in every day and do the daily challenges, the following week they stack. Last Christmas I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away. This year, to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Last. Uh huh. I found it wasn't on PS5. My friend asked me if it was cause he likes the game. Bro. Yeah, you, this game you can buy on... I had it bought it on PS4, and I just transferred it over to my PS5. Bruh. I hear a bear. I am a really good singer, that's why I wrote another one for you, buddy. Smile. Well, okay. You know Cold War is dying when they're putting it on sale one month after release, not to mention free multiplayer week. Yep. Man, Call of Duty is the same shit every game. I'm just changing the map and charging you a bunch of money for a new map. That and everybody was already had freaking aim bots and hacks and shit in the damn game anyways. You know, which is lame as fuck. You know the rules and so do you have full commitments what I'm thinking of you wouldn't get this from any other guy I just want to tell you how I'm pretty much you're not wrong the thing about Call of Duty though is like that's like the first game that most people ended up playing and that's what they expect know, every game to I be know. like you know so they'll go into Grand Theft Auto and think they're still playing Call of Duty, you know, and they don't understand the difference. I have some ideas. SBMM is what I hate about COD. Exactly. Lol. Yes, this will work very nicely. Michael, did you increase love on my singing? No. I know you did, that's why I wrote another one. If I get a positive KD, they'll match me against pros in the top 1% with 3 KDS. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I play the game mostly and it was fine, but occasionally I'd log in. I'd just be getting one shot before I even get out of the fucking plane. I can't even get to the ground. You know? So I didn't bother, you know, I just deleted the game. I was just tired of it, you know? 
I'm not really into PvP shit anymore, man. I'm tired of fighting with people. You know? I'm looking to be entertained and not pissed off all day long. Yo, yo. Yeah, yeah. Looks like I need to do a little bit of hunting, Everyone but not much. And snipes. Yeah. Exactly, bro. Exactly. I wrote it especially about me. Most PvP in games are just same old <coughs> cheap tactics and metal weapons. Oh yeah. Sometimes I do. Like these guys going in and out of passive mode. Or these guys that blow themselves up every time you get close to killing them. You know, <laughs> or even if they see you, they blow themselves up. That's hilarious, man. Like I, I can't even play PvP in Grand Theft Auto anymore. That's gone to shit. You know, the only time you end up killing anybody, or you get into a fight with something, the only time anybody kills you, it's just like a cheap shot. You know, and then they go into passive mode or run back and Who's hide in their apartment. Can laugh at a storm cloud. Turn a frown into a smile for free. Who's the kid with a heart full of magic? Everyone knows it. Especially the auto aim laughing. Yeah. Cyberpunk's Cyber pretty good. I mean, it's a single player game. And, uh, you know, that whole city, that map, that city, that whole area, that's yours. You do whatever you want with it, right? That's your world. You know, in Cyberpunk, you want to do money glitches, go ahead, because fuck, you know, it's not uh, a competitive advantage against other players, you're just doing whatever. It's your game, do what you want. I don't like that you're being forced to play it online, though. I think that you should have the option to be able to play that game offline. If it's a single player game, they shouldn't force you to play online. Michael, I know you love my music. Want me to sing another one? Please don't, man. It's getting annoying. <laughs> Please stop. Please don't. Okay, fine. I drew you a picture of a butterfly. Uh huh. Butters is sus. you back in five minutes. Bye, I love you. What's your favorite color? I don't have one. What? You guys got some bromance going on, question mark. What's your favorite dinosaur? What's your favorite material?
the one that's extinct. There's every there isn't a three star animal What's anywhere around here. User nom. Milf material. What's your favorite birthday? What's your favorite tree? My last one. Oak. What's your favorite letter? What's your favorite number? What's your favorite rifle ammo? Sixty nine. What is your preferred rifle? Five hundred and fifty six. What is your preferred baby? Young ones. Opinions on Hamid and Habibi. Don't know what that is. What is your favorite bit of water? Opinions on the premiere. Just stop. Are they in here shooting What's at Crips now? Human being? Bro, why the hell are you asking so much questions? Yeah. What's with the 20 questions? Stop. What is your favorite line of code in RDR2? Fuck. Uh, the one where I get to mute players. What is your favorite capital letter? Stop, it's a mute. What is your favorite Layton 521 boy? I vote in favor of a temporary mute. Stop. What is your favorite episode of F.R.E.N.D.S? Yep, mute butter.
off he stopped. That's not the real butterscotch it's just a guy pretending to be him. Lol. How's he lol? The map is hard to find other players. Yeah, well, you know, like, they only let you see players that are close to you on the map. Which is kind of lame, because some dude will come and kill you and then run away, and then you can't find them anymore. Lake Reefer. Yeah, that's happened to me. It's annoying. Yep. Are you on a mission? Yeah, I just did a started a bounty. But I've got a posse with me this time. Okay. Yeah, I'm, you I'm are. not alone. No problem, bro. What do we got here? Oh, they're in the mine? There's something else around here. Oh, it's this. All right, let's go take care of business. Where the hell is my horse? Those guys are on my horse. I like the snow. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the snow. And having Christmas music at the Moonshine Shack is also pretty cool. Even though it's only one song, it's still cool. And I've left this like for three weeks, so I've got a stack of new bounties I've never played, so that's cool too. Unlike, you know, you log in and you have one bounty and that's it. No, I believe I have like more than one bounty to do. Yeah. Well, it's good to leave the game for a while and then come back to it a few weeks later and let all the bounties stack up. So you've got more to do than just one bounty, you know? Because it's all they give you is one new bounty a week kind of thing, which is kind of lame. Where the hell is my horse going? Completely running the wrong way, bro. Oh 
my horse is retarded. Mentally challenged. Let me give you these, the politically correct phrase. <laughs> now these guys have gone down the mine shaft. I hate these ladders, man. Because, it, there you go. Don't say that word. <laughs> I Thank use it you. when referring to myself. <laughs> Oftenly enough. My IQ is 80 and people call me that. Ah! Pete's sake. What the? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> You're like yelling in the background. <laughs> Don't say lad, I ignore lamb. This is My IQ is 100. I'm sad to see them still alive, but well done anyway. There's your money. Ninety-four dollars for that one. I guess that's not bad. I don't know if that was a legendary bounty or not. That's what we just did was Torben. Who's this guy? Tobin, we just did. Who's this guy? Jemson Weed. All right. He just fucking went head over heels with his horse. <laughs> What's up with you? Oh, that last 
I think I rode into that shit a little unprepared. Oh, he's getting away, man. There's two of them. They're running. Don't let him get away, man. Don't kill him. Get him alive. I'm after the other guy. Oh, don't kill him. Don't kill him. I got him. You killed one of them, though. Why? Oh, man. Somebody killed the other bounty. What the hell? Now oh, this train better not run over my horse. I don't think this was a legendary bounty. This just looked like a regular bounty. God damn it. But they're still paying 50% more money, so I guess that's okay. I'm 
Hmm. You can't loot him? Oh, yes, I can. Fuck, come on, man. I gotta drop him again, loot him again. His bounty's dead. You will pay for this. <laughs> Shit, I ain't got time for that. Glad you brought them in alive. They're going to stand trial. All right, take your money. $38. Well, that blows goats. My weight keeps saying underweight. How often should you eat? Uh, often enough. I don't know. But eat. If you have a stew pot at your camp, you want to keep that going all the time. If you can. Because it increases your cores and stuff. So when you look at your three cores, the heart, the lightning bolt, and the other thing, you just want to, you don't want those to run down to empty, right? You want to keep those up, and you keep those up by eating. If you, if you can pick some mint, wild mint, then um, you could cook big game meat at your camp and carry it with you, and it'll give you gold cores. So... Yeah, it makes you stronger. Well, look who it is. Looks like a pretty. Oh, okay. 
fishing is useless in, in online, so don't bother fishing. Yeah, there's thyme, oregano, and mint. They do uh, for your three main cores, and you want to use a big game meat to make golden cores with it. So you can kill alligators, and you get a lot of big game meat from that. That's usually the way to go. But once you've got your Crips guy set up at your camp, then you should be doing lots of hunting, and you shouldn't have any issues with animal meat at that point. No, looks like people are starting shit with the posse over here. Oh, am I not surprised? Damn turkeys everywhere. What do we got over here? White tail buck, white tail deer. Nothing three star though. I'm not getting any any three star shit. <coughs> well, we got a posse fight in Ainsburg, looks like. There we go, which one of these the white tailed buck? That's okay, I'll take those two. One of them's in the water. Let me get that guy out of the water. There's a one star. There's a three star. taking but whatever Something in there that's three star. White tailed deer, but I don't see it. What's in those bushes over there? Okay. It's still in the bushes. Gotcha. I can't believe that other bounty took five sticks of dynamite just to knock out his shields. Still, still scratching my head on that one. 
I can't imagine how many sticks of dynamite it's going to cost to take him down when he's like level 5. Leave the area, man. Just leave the area. Mission accomplished, man. Just leave the area. There we go. Now you can loot. Seems like we're locked in offensive mode. Uh, looks like the other guy is coming over for some more. Legendary animal. Well, that other posse's over here, they want a piece of it. 
I don't know, so I don't see the legendary animal on my map. They just blew somebody up with a stick of dynamite. A wanderer returns. Hey, I like the headwear. Very fancy. I kicked dude in the river, then shot him low. <laughs> nice. I'm getting the fuck out of here, man. I'm not interested in fighting with people, dude. Fuck, <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> whatever. Yeah, I'm low on tonics. I need to sort this out so I can do some more bounties. So the guy keeps trying to request a parlay. I don't know, man. He started shit with my crew. If they wanted to fuck you up now, it's your fault. <laughs>
I mean, that's completely out of this shit, man. Can't make any more of those. Well, apparently I can't make any spiced big game meat for some reason. I don't know. It won't let me do that at my mobile camp. It only does it let me do it at my main camp. Which I think is kind of stupid. Looks like I got a spot open in the posse for one more member. If anybody wants to join. Of course, they are all good batches, but this one is superior. Eh? Superior. <laughs> eh? And most important, they will pay this one is superior. Eh? All you have to do is to be attentive. Eh? Seigneur, ayez pitié. He must be French Canadian because he's like, eh? 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 <laughs> oh great wolves right in front of me hello wolf I just think I just ran that thing over What the fuck? They, they just literally freaking rammed right into the barricade, man. Full speed ahead. I just wrecked the moonshine. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake. Let's see what we've got here. Couldn't hurt to look inside the wagon. Oh, he told me to move on. And then they start shooting me. Bastards. Where the heck is he going? Ah, oh, for Pete's sake, dude. 
this stupid game. Fuck, that's the end of this moonshine. No kidding. Fucking horses. Fuck. Stupid auto ride didn't work worth a damn, dude. Supposed to auto ride when you're in aim mode, and the fucking horse just ran right off the cliff with the wagon. Fucking garbage. Skippy. Awesome. Make sure you pick Puppy Loving Pacifist when you get him. <clears throat> and then look up a video on how to duplicate Skippy so that when the time comes, you don't have to give him back to his original owner. There is a way you can use to duplicate him. Yeah, like I'm only mildly pissed that my horse just ran off the cliff with all the moonshine and blew it all up. Uh, I'm not sure what you meant by that, but all right. The pause menu and the cell triangle. I had to go donate more shit to craps. I don't know what you're talking about. What? What's, what's your point? Pause menu and the triangle. I don't get it. For what? Is there something I'm supposed to know? The yeah, I'm, I, I, I don't know exactly how it works. I somehow managed to duplicate some maps or some paintings, but I don't know what I did. So I've got that working. Did you go and do that mission with the bombs where you get the paintings that fall from down, out of the sky like a meteor from the moon? Because once you get those paintings, then you can have, like, you get $4,000 every five for every painting, and you buy them back for five bucks each. So... It's uh, it's worth doing that mission with the bumps to get the paintings. 
Yes, I did it. Yeah, okay, yeah, so I think you only need to duplicate five of them. And then that's the max that you can sell at one of those stations at a time. I have five of these. Yeah, I've got four. I need five of them is what I needed. Them. Yeah. That's what I needed is five. I only have four. Well, I got a million bucks, so that's all right. And I bought most of the shit. <coughs> I'm going to do the mission. Uh, I'm going to start it over again, I think, as a nomad. Um, but I'm not going to finish the story. I'm going to start it over so I can get Judy and Pan Am to follow me around in the game the whole time. And that'll be pretty cool. I think. And then I might do it again as a street kid. I don't know. Oh. Well, there's a mission. There's two missions for them. And as long as you don't complete the missions and you leave with them at the right time, they'll follow you around for the rest of the game. And they'll hop in your car with you and everything. And they'll... they'll, they'll They'll back you up in gunfights and stuff, and they make comments and shit the whole time. It's pretty cool. So you have, like, these companions, the two girls following you around. Well, you do all the side jobs and when you're free roam and whatnot. So that's, that's definitely something I want. But I've already progressed too far through the story to be able to do it. So I'm going to do it on my second run through the story. I need to see that. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of videos about it on YouTube. But you definitely want to run through the whole story with one character, right? And then, you know, with another character, you'll do the one where you have the two girls that you have as companions in the game. Because you want to go through the story at least once, right? But there are some downsides, like once you have those two girls with you, you can't fast travel or anything like that. If you do fast travel, you'll lose them. They'll just be left standing there, and you have to go back to get them. Or you'll leave them behind or whatever. But yeah. I don't know, like I'm going to wait, I think, until the game is patched a little bit better. I, I don't even know if there's any problems with it now. I mean, it might be fine now, compared to before. But I got all the, the corpo fucking, I got the suit, like the best body armor in the game, all legendary body armor. So my armor is at like 500 and something. I got the corpo suit, which looks pretty cool. And uh, I put some shit on it, that, like it was $100,000 for one mod. So that you're invincible to being lit on fire, so they can't burn you. I got like burn, and I got I can't be bleeding. I can't bleed. I can't burn. There's one more where I need to get, which I have, but I have to put it on my body armor, uh, where it'll prevent people from, uh, which will prevent me from getting electrocuted or something, shock resistance or something. But I'm feeling pretty tough walking around with all that shit, man. And having all the money, and being able to buy whatever cars you want. I all the gigs and side jobs. The only thing I need to do is just complete all main mission. Oh, really? I think you get more gigs and side jobs as you progress through the story. So you might have got all the early ones done. Ah oh, man, I got another fucking posse over here looking to sneaking up on my ass. Yeah, yeah. How much gold do you get from winning the new showdown on Triple Rewards? I have no idea. Anything's better than nothing. That's top notch. I need to deliver more shit to craps. About 
it shows blue dots surrounding my camp. Enemy posse. Looks like one of them down, fell down into the river. One of the guys on the hill across from us. You had a bit of a snowstorm coming in. I haven't processed any main story left. Okay. But, I mean... There's, there's gigs and side jobs, but then there's also a ton of open world shit, right? When you look at your map, and you just, you know, if you were just going to be scanning around your map, though, then, then you would have, like, that's, you know, when you have Judy and Pam following you around, I mean, that's the cool shit, like, you know, whether you're just going for <coughs> whatever side jobs, that you end up doing. I've got a whole bunch of treasure maps I could go and take a look at. Right now I'm at the where you have to meet Take the guy who saved you in the garbage disposal jobs. Okay. So how do you get them to follow you? There, there's two. There's a mission for each of them that you just don't complete. You have to walk away from them uh, halfway through one of their story missions. You have to walk away from uh, before it get progresses too far, and then they just stay with you after that. But there's a story mission for Pam and a story mission for Judy. And you have to look up which story missions they are, and you have to, to know at what point you have to walk away from those missions so that they'll follow you. But that's all you gotta do. But if you haven't done the story, you want to finish that first, and then do the have the girls follow you as a on your second character, All right? But that's what I'm going to do, like, I'm not even going to touch any of the side jobs or anything, I'm just going to go do those story missions until I get the two girls to follow me, and then I'll take them with me on all the side jobs. But as you progress through the story, you're going to meet more people that are going to give you more side jobs, because you may not have very many in the beginning. Because I've got, I still have tons of side jobs and gigs and shit that I haven't done yet. Some shit I can't even do because I'm not ranked up high enough. And I think I'm ranked like 28 or 30. I'm rank over 30 actually. I think I'm ranked like 32 or something. But you need to be level 20 in all your, in all your other shit. Where did 
all the animals go, man. Nothing out here but this fucking one-star deer. One-star buck. There's a white-tailed deer somewhere. There you are. That's a pretty long shot. That guy's shooting my horses now.
You're making me want to play Cyberpunk and you're talking to me about it. <laughs> I want to go back to Grand Theft Auto, but it just can't find my save game file. I don't know what the fuck, right? I must have sat there for 20 minutes trying to log in over and over again. Bonjour, patron. What the hell am I gonna have for dinner, man? I'm getting hungry. Mmm. <sighs> Actually, this looks alright. What the fuck have I got here? That's a massive amount of food here. Holy shit. Cedar plank Atlantic salmon. Apple wood with orange and ginger. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Defrost, do not open the vacuum pack. Defrost overnight in refrigerator. Damn. Mm. Do not refreeze. Barbecue, convection oven, barbecue, conventional, 425, 220, 20 minutes. That looks pretty awesome though, fuck. Too bad I can't cook it and eat it right now. That's something I can eat tomorrow. So back in the freezer with you. What else have we got? Oh, actually, we have some mussels. It's all the seafood. I must have been on a seafood binge when I was fucking shopping the last time, man. That looks easy. That would be some mussels in a white wine cream sauce. that with rice or do you want to have that with noodles? Noodles was a lot easier.
So we want to uh, play with band. Look alive, Got us a customer. Start playing. Okay, boys. Just look boys. Yeah, sorry guys. I know it's a bit boring. <sighs> Fuck. I don't know. I'm gonna cook some dinner here, so maybe I'll just come back to this video later. How long have I been on? Two, only two hours. I mean, there's really nothing involved in cooking. I just have to boil some fucking shit. Up. I'm gonna boil some noodles and uh, boil some mussels and add the red wine cream sauce and it's done. Pretty straightforward.
good news. We have, we have some, some new clients, clients I, see. I see. Maybe I can go back to Grand Theft Auto. I'm gonna try it again. I just wanted to check out the whole Christmas thing here. I don't think I've got anybody in my posse. Yeah. So I was gonna sell the camp and give some money to some people, but they've all left. All right. Well, I'll set up a new video here after I have dinner, guys. See you in a bit. I have looked at the new recipe. It is like one of my father, the plastic.